We have final year of veterinary medicine and veterinary nursing students rotating through the hospital during their final year and in ICU that involves one week of rotations. Typically in one week I would have one veterinary nursing student and four veterinary medicine students. It's a very heavy workload, it is an awful lot of pressure on the students and that's why I want to make sure that we make their life as easy as possible. Although I want to give them as much information, I still want to make sure that they're, they're taking it all in and they're not, we're not over pressurising them as well because it is a very, very stressful year for these, for these students. Um, in the intensive care unit, it is quite an intensive week. There's a lot of teaching involved, there's a lot of caseload involved. Um, however, there is a nice finish time of five o'clock, which we're quite strict at that they get their evenings. It's intense during the day, but they get home and get their, their nice evenings to relax. They're sent information in advance of the rotation through a handbook and also one week in advance of the rotation I will send out an email to them um, telling them what's involved with the rotation. I find this really helps them kind of practice for the rotation. Um, on the Monday and Tuesday mornings we tend to do practical classes with our students involving some basic things like um, blood sampling, catheter placement and they will have information in advance that they they're need to read up on before that rotation. If we're not dealing with our inpatients or dealing with um, emergency patients, um, I'll try and bring the students into tutorial room and carry out tutorials on subjects that they will be involved with as in their private practice. You have to stay calm during the emergency situations and I think having done the tutorials helps a lot with you being able to stay calm and know where you're supposed to be and where to stand or where not to stand in a situation. As a student veterinary nurse I found that if I actually physically saw something and been carried out I was more likely to remember it. So I've made some models to demonstrate on. I've sacrificed many of my childhood teddies to be um, have um, the stuffing taken out of and hot water balls being placed into um, so I can demonstrate abdominal synthesis, synthesis, things like that. We also have a CPR model, a CPR dummy that we can practice doing CPR on, which we carry out every single week as well. There is always going to be a difference, but having the facilities of the um, model dog for doing CPR, like you don't, you know, you're not as worried that if the situation does arise and a dog does crash when you are on your ICU rotation, that you know, okay, well, this is where my hands are supposed to be placed on this dog. Approachability is a huge part of my job. I want to make sure the students are able to come to me if they have any problems, if they need any extra advice, career advice and so on. I focus on the quieter students as well. They may not have the confidence to actually approach me during the, during the time. I found on the first day of ICU that from the minute you walked in you kind of got a sense that Sinead was going to be the one that you could approach and ask. And from my nursing point of view I want to assess them on their patient care is number one for me. Um, their knowledge, of course, is hugely important in this final year um, and how they deal with their, their fellow students and staff in general. Overall, I think it's a rotation they seem to enjoy. It's, it's a pretty full-on week. Um, there's a lot of teaching involved, a lot of learning involved, but they seem to get an awful lot out of it and the feedback seems to be very good.